Hello everyone, welcome to the video. We're talking about the execute command. And this one is a relatively complicated one, but hopefully I can explain it in a way that helps you understand. We're starting with just this simple command right here, which is teleport. Now, what did I just do here? I mean, for some of you, um, I'm on keyboard, so I press enter and that happens. I do what with the command? There's two specific words that we're going to be focusing on, and that is execute and run. So when I press this button, I executed the command. When I press this button, I ran the command. Those are two words for executing or running a command. Those are two words for what I just did. Now, funnily enough, which isn't very funny or circumstantial, this is just how it works. That's exactly the two words here, execute and run and then TP, you know, two blocks above, it behaves the exact same because it is effectively the exact same. Execute is effectively a command that lets you ask who, where, and how we want a command to be ran or executed. So we're specifying those things. By default, when we run, you know, the teleport command, it just defaults to I'm running it and that's we're running it at my location. But with execute, we can override that. We can say that we want to execute it, you know, as a cow in a radius or whatever else. So in this case, we can do execute as the cow and plenty of other things. Now to go over the different commands that we have, we have align anchored as at facing if in position rotated run unless align and oh, we already went over align. It just reset. Um, those are all of the ones um, that are available. We're not going all over all of them. I may have to do specific videos for some of them or even redo some, <laughs> some stuff um, in later videos to really go over some of the more hard ones, but we're gonna be going over almost all of those today. So let's just get started. Um, number one, we have as, and this is again, who. We're asking who is running it. We're saying, or we're stating who is running it, really. Not really asking a question, even though in a lot of ways we are asking a question of, you know, who is doing it, but we're still stating something. We're stating who is doing it. And we're gonna do as type um, is equal to cow. So execute as the cow. And then what we're going to do is run the say command. So say hello. So when I do this, we have two cows that just ran the hello command. And specifically, it said cow hello. So the cow said hello. Now, if I change this to where, then it will say that I did it. So Mr. Jcraft said hello. But obviously that's sort of bizarre, but it makes sense because as is saying who's running it, but not where. So again, vice versa, if we did execute as um, at E, which I should have just used the old one, uh, type is equal to cow. And then I did run um, set block, right? And I did two blocks above and I did stone. Then I just got a stone above my head, but not the cow, right? The, I'm, though I'm executing as the cow. The cow is running the set block command. Why is it not you know, setting the block above the cow's head? Why is it setting it above my head? Well, very plainly, We're, we stated who is running the command, but we never stated where the command is being ran. So it went back to its default. The default is your location and you, uh, as you. And the same way if we had a, a command here, if we did this and we pasted the command into here and we had it run, if we ran it, even though the cow is running the command, it's still doing it at the position of the command block. So it always goes to the default of whoever's running it. So if we wanted to do the same command, but instead of um, as the cow, at the cow, instead we would need to do this. So there we go. Now it did actually run at the location of the cow. By default, the better solution is typically something more like this. Execute as um, at E type is equal to cow. So execute as all cows at the location of the cow, run set block two blocks above grass. And this case, the reason why it's better is because we override both of those things, who and where. This means there's no funny business and you can't accidentally mess something up. It means it, it simplifies a lot of stuff, especially with MC functions, because MC functions get past those things. So it makes it a little bit weird. Um, and sometimes you can very easily make a mistake. So by default, you should try to remember to do it this way. I don't always remember to do it that way though. Uh, but again, here's another sort of example of, of this again. And this is also really simple. 
Um, so we're executing, uh, this is just a potion effect. And if I do it um, at Mr. Jcraft, so I did that instead, at Mr. Jcraft, of course, it's not going to work. So if I do it, yeah, it's not working. And that's because we're doing it at the location of Mr. Jcraft. And even if we look at the command here, failed to execute effect as null because the command block isn't an entity. So it didn't have anything to execute on because we specified the location, but we didn't specify who. So if I specify who and I don't specify the location, it still works. Now, here's another command that's very, very similar. And in fact, I'm going to change this around because this is this way it makes a little bit more sense. Um, I'm actually going to show you both of them instead, um, rather than just showing you one. I think that will make more sense. So we have execute at the location of the armor stand uh, of the name A, run effect um, on the closest player in a radius of five, a jump boost, etc. right? So we have this here and we do get our jump boost. Now, if I go back over to here, we could change this command and it's going to be a bit more confusing, but it's an important distinction that this also works. We can execute on at self, but uh, before we do that, we can do as at p with a radius of five just like this this will also function and we will get our jump boost the reason this is important is because we can run an effect on ourself and in this case ourself is the closest player in a radius of five to the armor stand so we can read this a little bit differently now we can say we are going to execute at the location of an armor stand and the closest player in a race of five is going to run the command effect on themselves jump boost um, with for one second at a jump boost of five with no particle effects. That's effectively what that says. I did have to rearrange it a little bit, but that is what it reads in more of an English way of doing it or English terms. So here we are. Here's another way of doing basically the exact same thing uh, where we can say execute if an entity exists. Um, I show that over here as well with the pig, I believe. Um, uh, but this is basically the same thing. Uh, but with this one, we have positioned. You can execute positioned. It's very similar to at, but then we're able to change at again using positioned. Um, it's um, doing it this way using as is not as useful though. Um, so there is position. We'll go over, yeah, we'll go over position for right now and we'll go over if in a second. So we have execute. And we can say at um, at e type is equal to pig. Then we're able to say again, this is why with position as is not as important it, because we can just do at again. So we can do execute at at e type is equal to pig at Mr. Jcraft even or at, you know, at p in a radius of 10. We can just do that again. And then we can do position um, two blocks above or whatever, uh, you know, uh, run. Uh, set block stone so we did just get stone a uh, stone block placed above our head if i move away from the pig it does not work anymore so again what i just did was executed um, at the location of the pig at the player um, in a race of 10 position two blocks above that player run set block um, at that location and then it worked of course so that is positioned it's relatively simple then the next one would be on the sheep, which is if, and then we'll go over to unless. So we can execute as the, as all sheep um, at, at s, if the block is grass, run set block grass. So with this one, let me actually just copy it real quick. Um, with this one, what we can do is a little bit interesting because if allows us to do multiple things here. So we can do if block, if blocks, if entity, and if score. If entity basically allows us to do another as, but on the current entity, rather than saying we want to execute on another entity, we're able to say that, you know, on our entities, filter out all the ones that are not sheep, for example, or not something else. Um, if is you know, pretty useful as well as unless. And then we can also do a score for like scoreboards. I'm not going over that right now. We also have block and blocks. Block is for like testing if a block is a specific block block is for a selection of blocks uh, sort of like test for blocks and test for block they're basically equivalent if you want to check those out um, then you can look it up online or comment down below if you want me to do a video specifically on both of those commands I don't necessarily think uh, that they're particularly interesting except for if for block if um, if block is a little bit more important because now what we can do is test to see you know if the block below it is let's say uh, grass then we want to run a set block um, two blocks above 
uh, with grass, right? And in this case, um, there was a sheep somewhere in the world, I believe, that is on top of grass. Um, instead, I should probably do dirt instead. So there we go. So now we did get it because there is dirt below the sheep. Um, but if a, a sheep is not on dirt, then that wouldn't happen. So with this uh, one here, we have if entity. So th this is a, an example I was talking about. So we can do execute as at all entities at the location of the entity. If the entity is of type sheep, run the set block command. So in this case, we're only going to run on sheep because we specified only on sheep with the if. Um, then we also have unless, which effectively is the opposite of if. So it's basically if not. So for this one, we can do execute as at e type is equal to fox. So execute on um, as the fox at the location of the fox. Um, run say fox unless if uh, two blocks above it is error. So in this case, it won't run. Um, but if we do this, it will run. So there you go. So if it's not error or unless the block is error, um, sort of a confusing way to put it but hopefully that makes sense. It's effectively if not. Um, that's how I think of it at least because the reading it in order is a little bit difficult because this is sort of out of order to how you would read it logically, uh, but that's okay. Then here uh, we have dimensions. So we can teleport to the overworld or the nether or the end using this right here. So we just replace that with nether or end or whatever or overworld, um, but I'm not going to continue with that one. It's very, very simple. Now for this next one, we have another command, which you guys may not know about this, but if you have these carrots here, you can actually do something based off of where you're looking. Now, part of the problem here is where it's based off of your feet, because in Minecraft, things are by default at your feet. So if I did this, it's going to be at my feet, of course, um, because that's the default location. That is a bit of a problem when you want to do this, because it's not where I'm looking. It doesn't actually function properly. Now, normally what people can do is just do this or just go up by by one in this case. There we go. So we just went up by one and yeah, that does work, um, but it doesn't work as well in some cases um, as just doing execute. Um, actually, we could just do anchored. So because I'm, I'm executing it, anchored on eyes, um, run set block. And then again, we're going 10 blocks in front. There we go. Um, stone. And there we go. So it does work like slightly, um, slightly better and it makes more logical sense. And we're doing like positions and everything else and at and at, as and everything else. It is a little bit easier and it makes more sense to do anchored eyes. It is very useful. And I have ran into some situations where it was a fair bit better, especially when you get further up like this here. Um, because if I go back to the other one, um, like this here, yeah, it's not the same position. <laughs> so that's a bit of a problem. So eyes is slightly better, anchored eyes. Now the next one is a line. Um, also we have anchored feet, but that's basically like the default, I believe. If I am wrong, comment down below. I don't actually remember if there's even a difference. It's basically like the default, if I remember correctly, because it is um, just executing anchored on your feet. Now I'm going to save my position real quick and then type that into chat like this. There we go. We're at TP to zero, 100, zero, and this is going to be basically where we are. There we go. So this one is going to be for a line. This one's a little bit confusing because, you know, why would you ever need it? But at the same time, it is actually relatively important. So if I do this here, we teleport to the middle of this block, but that's not the exact location. If we look inside of chat, we teleport to 0 0.5, 65, 0 0.5. And that is exactly where we are located. 0 0.5, 65, 0 0.5. And that is pretty obvious. Um, that's because the corner here, this bottom corner, is actually zero, zero. Or I guess maybe it's the top corner here. Um, either way, it is zero, zero. But that's a little bit confusing, if that makes any sense. Um, like, just for many reasons. That's confusing, because for this one, yeah, that makes sense. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, right in the middle of the block. But we're at block zero, the top left corner of the screen. But again, what about this one? Or this one? Or this one? What are those locations? For this one, it's a little bit more obvious. It's negative um, 0 0.5, um, negative 0 0.5. And there we go, we're there. But again, it's still not like super straightforward because if we're some, if we are in some arbitrary position in the world, it's sometimes a little bit confusing to figure out, like even right here, which one is negative? One of these is gonna be negative, but not the other one, which one is it? 
Well, I was wrong. <laughs> like, how do you know? Like, if you do memorize it, that is completely possible. I mean, I'm surprised I don't have this memorized, but you know, I don't, so I don't know what position it is. So I just have to try it. That's really obnoxious and not particularly great. And especially if you want to do it some in some arbitrary position. So that's the point of a line. A line allows you to align to your X. So if we do uh, run TP and I do at my own location, it's going to align me to the zero or align me to the whole number, um, to the whole number of that block. So in this case, it's going to be um, zero. So it's going to align me to zero. So if I did that same thing, but in this case I did a Z, it's going to align me to the zero zero of the of the world. So now we're actually at zero. Or in this case, we're actually at negative one. So we're actually at the whole value. Um, the same thing for y. In this case, it's not particularly useful because we're already at the zero. Um, but if we did 0 0.5 from this point, and we did 0 0.5 from this point, that means that we would be perfectly centered. And there's definitely some commands where this is actually really important. Um, so this is particularly useful to know. Even just this, this command right here is something I have and probably will continue to use because being able to line myself up with the center of a block is particularly useful uh, for things that are very precise and like far off distances as well. Um, so there you go. That's basically the all of the commands here. I will probably have to go over the other commands uh, separately uh, with the you know, ex, you know, at E, at P, at S, um, at R, all of those commands, um, not really commands, but those selectors I'll probably have to go um, and do on separate videos for themselves, but that's okay. Let me double check the video link. I did forget to actually do the like and subscribe at the middle of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below any of your ideas that you have. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful, sublime day and God bless.